Okay. Uh, we'll see who returns on here. There's really... No, thank you for coming back. There's not really a whole lot to say. I mean, you can only have control on so much that goes on with governmental issues out here regarding uh, criminal cases and so forth. And you could only uh, basically rely on the system. And I can only rely on the information that has been bestowed upon me within my lawyer and actual communications with two different agencies. So uh, that's what I have to go on. And you know, pretty much anybody can make claims of this and that, that they have a lawyer when maybe they really don't. Well, you know, if Barry Lee Jordan actually had a lawyer, I would venture to say, why would they keep it secret? And if he had a lawyer, why wouldn't my attorney know about this it don't make any sense does it so as i said people make any claims that they want but you know whether it's true and valid that's a whole nother story so if he has a lawyer then why as my attorney put it you know uh you know say that uh you know his camp doesn't have a lawyer and by his own inquisition of, of the bureau of immigration and so forth that claims that barry has no money and that he's not being rep presented sorry about the last live stream you know we do this is the philippines after all and we do get interruptions and that's pretty normal just like we get blackouts <laughs> can't control so sorry about that we just don't we come back on as a courtesy to kind of finish off what i had to say on the last stream thank you for so many views on that show i think uh i think i made myself as clear as i could possibly be i'm not really sure what more i could add, yeah, actually add to that it's just like i said let the uh, no matter what happens let's just let the system take care of the problem and uh, you know only the bureau of immigration knows what they're going to do with him you know and uh prosecutor's office that's the other thing it's pretty clear that this has been sent over to the regional trial court in Barilli. so i i you know how do i elaborate on that Seriously, how do I elaborate on that? I can't. I only go by the information that's given to me. Now, I can make things up, but that wouldn't make any sense because it wouldn't turn out necessarily the way I want it to turn out. Just because I say something is generally true, but it's based on the information I'm getting from the people that I need to get from. So we got two agencies. We got my lawyer. So I don't know. You're going to believe Ricky, Barry, over a lawyer, over the uh, Bureau of Immigration, over the prosecutor's office well <laughs> you know do the math do the math barry doesn't know how to do any simple math but i would imagine most of you know how to do simple math out there but if you do you'll realize that it's not really looking good for our <laughs> punchback friend and there's no validity whatsoever in what ricky talks about on his show and of course these periodical <laughs> conjugal visits with Barry that Ricky makes. <laughs> I don't know who's sucking his dick more, Ricky or Barry, to each other because Barry's depending on Ricky's visits to get food and information and false information as it is. And Ricky's sucking Barry's dick, you know, to have a show on that he had kept any topic matter about and be able to get funds for his own pockets. So they're, they're both kind of sucking each other off if you want to, <laughs> you know, if you want to really see things that way, as clearly as could be and all that. But the courts and everything make their own decisions on all of this shit, you know. I'm just a guy who uh, got all this shit against Barry. And I've done my part and more. Actually. I'm just now reliant as anybody would be on the judicial system out here. I, I, I don't have any control beyond that point except to uh, report any changes going on with uh, with Tunchy, okay, or something they're not aware of. <laughs> His uh, jail cell has become party central, and that's kind of an embarrassment to immigration, really. But I'm sure they're going to look into this because, you know, there's a reason why he's incarcerated. He broke the law. I'm talking about it's an administrative thing, not a criminal thing. Well, it's a crime <laughs> to not pay your immigration fees, especially for six and a half years. If it wasn't a crime, he would be out on his own accord. But he's not. And he's been incarcerated for three plus months so far. Okay? 
What's there to figure out? <laughs> Let's see. OG Papa says Ricky was telling a lie for three days, and Barry destroyed his lie on the live stream last night. Okay, give me a little details on that. How did Barry destroy Ricky's lie? Tell us about that. Maybe I missed.、Something. So do fill us in on that. Well, between the lies between both of them, you could probably. Step on these lies and make your way. Step all the way to the moon, which is two hundred forty thousand miles away.、Hmm. There's enough lies between them to、uh, spread from here to the moon. Okay, let's see. Ricky said he was leaving next week. Oh yeah. Okay, I heard that. Well, first it was in two weeks, then it was one week, and next day is going to be is going to be out tomorrow or something. Okay, look at it this way, guys. <laughs> How is that even possible? The mathematics don't add up on this. Okay, Barry wants to call it voluntary deport, but it's not voluntary. Okay, he broke the law with immigration for a long time. He's got to pay for that, <laughs> and he's still got to pay for I don't know about a half a million worth of、uh, overdue visa shits and you know. Fines and penalties. Now, where's that money coming from? If he doesn't even have a lawyer. Now, Ricky lied, saying that Barry has his own immigration lawyer. But why is it that <laughs> immigration? You don't even know that. Now, how is that possible? So, who's who's lying here? Who's lying? Let's see. He said、uh, Barry said he would be there for three more months. Well, I heard that part.、Uh, kind of forgive me, folks. I'm kind of stuffed up this morning. <laughs> so deal with it. Uh yeah, heard that part. But、uh, is that reality? That's the question. Now he has five counts against him.、Uh, I really, you know, and I'm just a lay person here. That's that's all I am, and I can only go on information of things I've learned and read in the so-called legal system out here, and what my lawyer can provide for me, and what you know, personal conference with the prosecutor's office could tell me, what they did tell me, and of course my communication with the. Bureau of, of Immigration, and that's you know that's that's what I got to go on. Okay, that's what I got to go on. Okay, I have no say other than that, other than you know, showing these videos、uh, to the immigration to see that he's getting contraband in his cell and it's become party central every now and again, and how he's not really paying the price of what he did, but the very fact that they're not acknowledging. When I say they, I mean Barry and his constituents and Ricky and whatever. They, you notice on their shows, they don't want to talk about that. They might say something now and then. Oh, there ain't no case. That's old hat. Okay, well beyond that, I already showed documentation on there that the fiscal did approve five counts against him. That's old news. It's there's nothing Ricky could say or Barry could say. But I think what really sucks is that you know. Ricky is feeding this crap to Barry, and Barry, being the dumb hillbilly he is, he's just sucking it all up, thinking that there's hope at the end of the rainbow. Well, you know what? The truth is, anything could happen. I, I do think out of the box, anything could happen. It's all up to immigration. It's going to be up also to the prosecutor's office,、uh, the regional trial court. It's all going to be up to them. That, that my part is,、uh, well, it's pretty much done. And I was actually told that by fiscal. They told me, "Relax, you know, we got it handled here. You know, we know what we're doing. You know, you don't have to write us anymore. We got it. We know the story. You know, it's going to be going to the regional trial court. So, who am I to believe? Okay, if this is coming from the actual officials, am I to not believe them?" And、that's what I got to go on. In some measures, I don't know as much as any of you know out there, because now that everything has, you know, come to a head and has been, you know, a legal establishment、uh, of his crimes beyond the immigration, it just goes to say that they are legally uh, uh, the system legally has to address if there's any criminal charges other than immigration situation that he's going through right now. So.、Uh, They don't let that fly out the window. That has to be addressed. And like I said so many times, it's going out of style. That you know, his future is is not very good because he's going to have to wait. Most people can see right through Richard. I know that. Look, take a 
take Ricky for what he's worth, which he's worth shit, but take it on an entertainment level. And, and that's all it really is. You know, we don't believe Ricky has all this money. He wouldn't be living in a, some dump that possibly is comparable to what Barry's living in because he's fearful of what's going to happen with Fazio and he tries to underplay what's going to happen with Fazio. And as I said, you know, I'm not a medium. I can't tell you what's going to go on with Fazio's thing. I could definitely tell you that's better than good that Fazio, I think the odds are in Fazio's favor <laughs> of getting something for what happened. After all, Ricky did do four days in jail. They don't throw you in jail for nothing. That means that, you know, you committed a crime. It was premeditated assault on Mr. Fazio, okay? You know, it doesn't require big mathematics on this, folks, or, you know, or having full use of your brain to figure out that Ricky is a bona fide criminal now. Maybe he didn't commit murder, maybe he didn't rob a bank, you know, but in the eyes of the system out here in the Philippines, he's a criminal. And it doesn't look good for him because, well, he's also a tourist who has no say out here. So the more trouble that he causes, the more he puts himself in deep shit. And he's been in deep shit. He's in deep shit, deep shit with Fazio, and he's going to be deep, deep shit with me, you know? And I warned him like I did with Barry, but I don't even want to go into that. I just don't want to waste my oxygen on that. I will do what I need to do. Look up Ben Newton's short about Ricky. Ben destroys him with facts. I don't know. I thought he was good buddies with Ben Newton, wasn't he? I don't know. <laughs> good buddies with anybody, really. All you need to do is line up all these fucking criminals against the wall and do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Cut off the head of the snake and you never have a problem with them again. You know, the same thing could apply to getting Barry deported. He thinks he's going to have this great life. I, you know, as I said, I'm a lay person, but I know how to read. And everything I know so far says that I cannot see how Ma Barry can marry his girlfriend and how he thinks that's going to be beneficial to him on his charges for permanent deportation without the ability to come back. You either committed a crime or you did not. And it's really up to the, what they call the Republic of the Philippines, as they call it, to make decisions based on the information they have and the crimes that were committed. Now, because of the fact that he broke the law with immigration, and now immigration is aware that there are five bona fide accounts, criminal accounts against BJ Blowjob. Well, you think they're going to turn their head to this? I just don't see that happening. Okay. As I said, unless you guys know something I don't, you know, and I could be totally wrong about everything, but how could I? I get the information from the sources. Now, unless, you know, immigration's lying to me, unless the prosecutor's office is lying to me and to my lawyer, and I really don't think that's going to happen, then it's going to be business as usual. Okay? I actually think there's going to be a formal serving of Barry as in a form of an arrest warrant. That'll come from the uh, RTC, Regional Trial Court of Barilli. I think that is the proper protocol on this. Could be wrong, but I believe it. But I've been told that that's sort of like uh, the steps that take place on this thing. As I said, I'm no lawyer. Yeah, I know, OG. I, I, I warned him several times, okay? And, you know, what more could I do, you know? And, it's not like I didn't give anybody a chance. I, I'm cool about that. I said, cut the shit, you know, in so many words. And they don't cut the shit, and they go over that line, and, well, that's where they are now. You know, if Barry didn't pull all that shit, he'd be a free man. You know, he'd be out screwing over his girlfriend again for money and everybody else. And which, I know everybody's scratching their head. Why is she so, why is his girlfriend so gung-ho about staying in a relationship with this guy? Well, that's... <laughs> That's a question I think a lot of us would try to really understand that. Can this woman be that desperate? I, I don't know, you know, and I don't know her personally. But why is she so gung-ho? Is she one of these that feels sorry for the fall guy? Or, I mean, or, you know, oh, is it her age? Because it's very difficult in the mid-30s to uh, find another gentleman. So I, I don't know, you know. 
it's something you have to sit down with her and ask and see if she'll tell you the truth about it because I still scratch in my head to this day and wondering I mean hasn't her family said to her well where are you going with this guy why do you still want him I mean he's in jail and for what we understand I don't think he has a future with you so why dear girl <laughs> are you uh, trying to plan some kind of future with somebody that just can't provide for you somebody that is most likely not to be able to come back in this country again. I guess maybe Barry's idea, if he gets supported, that he's going to find some magical way of getting her to come to the United States. Not that easy. It doesn't just happen like that. It's likely never going to happen. Yeah, let's see. Powerboy says, uh, no hold order. I don't know. He is free to go once deported. Well, a deportation order. He's escorted to the airplane, and he's sent on his way. And whether or not he's able to come back again is very doubtful. Because I think he's going to be permanently blacklisted. Yeah, you know, life's good in America, man. He can get food stamps. And he could do a new show and curse me out again from a distance. And which nobody's really going to care at that point. Except it's going to be a new chapter in his life when that happens. Because what do I mean by new chapter? It's just that what will happen is he's going to still be fucking up in America. Again, the train wreck continues, and it'll always continue. The trials and tribulations of Barry in America. <laughs> that might be even more interesting than his time in the Philippines. I, I think it actually might be. He says he has a family out there. They're going to take care of him. Well, they haven't so far beat the shit out of his wife. I don't think you know she wants to go too far in distance to help him out, except you know, the fact that he's the father of the children. But father well he physically fathered the children that's all it is a boy and a girl and that's it it was physical he wasn't a father to them he isn't a father to his son at all and he's denying that he has a daughter he's denying that he owes child support but even Allo and myself pr provided some of the facts on that that he is actually in arrears on child support in uh Hmm. Alabama, okay, and it's been a lot of years and it's added up to a lot of money and then it becomes a felony. So even if he manages with divine intervention or any other way to manage to go back to America on his own accord, which, come on, really, uh, he's still going to be facing a hellacious time. And he probably, you know, and by the way, yes, they could go after his Social Security disability check. When it comes to child support, child support automatically. So this nightmare is far from being over for Barry. Whatever hopes and dreams he has uh, in listening to Ricky's words that he's going to be out in a week, out in two weeks, and that they got this lawyer, when my lawyer is saying that they've already spoke to immigration, that immigration says that he doesn't have any money, and that he doesn't have any lawyer, why would the Bureau of Immigration lie about that? So if you want to go for the information to the Bureau of Immigration and through my lawyer, we could safely say that all this bullshit about Barry having his own, you know, personal immigration lawyer, uh, then it's just a pal, it's just a, a bunch of bullshit from, from Ricky. I know, you're at a point you don't know who to believe it. I, I totally understand, folks. I understand. You gotta understand where Ricky's coming from. He wants to keep Barry on his keychain because there's money to be made off him, or at least there was, and he did. And giving Barry false hope is his way of shoving it to Barry because if most of you don't know or understand, he don't like Barry. I know there's a fact. I met Ricky. We've talked. This is all for money. It's all for show. It's all for entertainment. It's all to line his pockets. It's all to make a fool out of Barry. How many times he's done a show <laughs> after he uh, visit Barry or, or even, you know, far in between that he's making a bunch of sick jokes about Barry. So you honestly think that he has Barry's uh, welfare in his mind. You actually think that he gives a shit about Barry. You actually give a shit. You think that he gives a shit about helping Barry. OG says it was a joy to watch. I see David says Poor Ricky lost at the end of his live stream. I'm going to ban everyone that doesn't donate. <laughs> That's kind of sounding like uh, the guy from Boracay, too. Uh, and yes, it was a joy. You know, uh, 
Ricky has this uncanny way of just making a total fool of himself. And uh, it's all going to come to an end, whether, you know, legal matters uh, above and beyond Fazio bestow themselves on Ricky from me. Uh, he's not living uh, a good life. He's not living a healthy life. And quite frankly, I like what happened to his brother. I, I think his health is catching up to him. And, you know, it's going to come a time when he's not going to be a problem to anyone anymore. He's not going to be scamming anyone and lying. And he's not going to be using and abusing all these Filipinas that he's buying. And uh, it's still going to be over with. And that goes to other people too on here that at a certain age that happen to have some serious health problems that they too are not going to be around very long. So, you know, the clock is ticking, the clock is ticking. And, you know, Mother Nature and Father Time and all this shit are going to take care of business eventually. So, you know, what more can you... Oh, by the way, I got the... I had the cup in the microwave, but you have to heat it up again. Yeah, even Gilda got tired of hearing this. Walked to the other room to go make some coffee, which I don't blame her. I actually get tired of talking about this, but I, I like to see that there are so many people out there that are against these clowns. It's amazing how many people are. Of course, he's a con man. He's always been a con man. <laughs> That's how he gets by in life. Glad to see we still have 31 strong in here i'm sorry about the other broadcast i it just happens now and then i have no control of that but the internet goes down momentarily my apologies for that that's why i decided to have the courtesy of putting on another show and explain what was going on and just continue my train of thought on this uh ladies and gentlemen i gotta tell you something uh talking about this all the time is not going to change anything really i'm now in your position i can only sit back and wait and see what the legal system does that's it i i've done my part okay i've done more to my part and uh there's not really too much i personally can do except to rely on the prosecutors and the bureau of immigration and my attorney at this point that's i'm sorry that's all I can do. You expect more from me, but I just can't give you that. Okay, I'm in the same position you are. I'm just waiting and hearing to see what goes on next. And truthfully, I, I can't find any logic of how Barry's just going to walk free. I mean, that just ain't going to happen. We already know, even from Ricky, lies to everybody. Even Ricky knows it's a definite deportation. But is it a round trip? I don't buy that. Barry seems to think that you know, he's going to get deported and everything's going to be wonderful. He's going to marry his woman, get her out there. We want you to come back. Well, you know, that's a fantasy, if anything, really. And that's what you call wishful thinking. I, I, at this point, at this point, you probably know as much as I do. Okay. I just don't see the math in this. I just don't see. Again, again, unless there's some, you know, <laughs> intervention from God or something. And I don't see where God would get involved with this guy or either one of them, okay? Or somebody's being slipped some money. I just can't see where it's going to go anywhere where Barry hopes it's going to go, okay? So I just uh, wind up getting into this uh, conversation, especially after Ricky does a visit with Barry. And that's always very, very funny and entertaining to watch. And I, I, I love it and still love it when Barry smirks and he, uh, you know, He's so confident that everything's going to work in his direction. They've both been lying to you from day one. Again, my lawyer says that he talked to immigration and that immigration says that he has no money and he's not being represented by a lawyer. So who are you to believe? Who am I to believe? Okay, chances are that Ricky took 90% of the money that was donated for Barry. And Barry, being as stupid and hillbilly as he is, got a couple of crumb buns from Ricky and is still maintaining the thought that he's and maybe he's in his own world right now maybe his brain just went zonkers okay maybe in his mind in his fantasy world that Barry actually believes that he has a lawyer that's working for him if that's the case who's the lawyer wouldn't my lawyer know because you see you know especially with five counts against Barry there has to be some recourse from his so-called lawyer at least on that matter with the five counts no communication nothing and he don't have any money to pursue a lawyer and if he manages to get out on bail which is sometimes allowable but he'd have to have 48,000 per count and however they take from there I don't know what the percentage so what is the odds that Barry has a lawyer okay are you a gambling person what are the odds in Vegas that Barry has a lawyer when immigration is telling my lawyer that he's not represented because he doesn't have any goddamn money yeah I see him in there he's uh 
Well, so is Ricky. I, I've seen some close-ups of him lately. Uh, Jesus Christ, what did he, he just turned 60, right? Not aging very well, is he? At least from, from what I can see. I do have eyes. I may not have the best hearing in the world all the time, but, you know, I do have eyes. Now, why is this damn thing on here on my screen? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sight. Okay, listen, guys. It, you know, the only thing I, I could really say to you is use your own judgment on this and do your own mathematics because I have given you all the information that I'm legally and I'm able and personally wanting to give you on what's going on in, in regards at least to Barry. Uh, anything up and beyond Barry is not something I'm going to be discussing on here. I told you I'm going to be silent in certain things and I could be, you know, willing to say a few things on other issues regarding somebody else, but not to the point where I'm giving them ammunition to know what's coming at them. They can throw their, you know, shoot their 22s at me, but generally I'll get out the 50 millimeter in cases like this. No problem. You guys have to just know that I have done my best. I've done my best. I'm not sure what else. I can help you out with. I just really don't know. What could I help you with? Really, honestly, I've given you the information.